This tutorial is going to be about how to install the FA Craft server under Wine and Linux Mint 17 x86. Uh, I've went on ahead and downloaded a few things to try to make the video a bit smaller. So uh, if I make any mistakes in between now and then, I apologize. But I'm going to try to do it blow by blow all the way through so you guys can get a feel on how it is to install it. And by the way, this is probably the most easiest way that I can think of to install the AFK Craft server under Linux. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and go to our about page on the AFK Games website. Come down here, download us a copy of the Windows Linux version. And I've went on ahead and did that. And we're going to take and open that up and extract it. To our AFK direct craft directory, you'll probably have to make one, but this is my example. So we've already made that. We've already installed the server. Now we need to get off installing Wine and Wine Tricks. So you want to go sudo apt-get install Wine and Wine Tricks. So we got our Wine and Wine Tricks set up and install. We're going to set up wine now. So we're just going to take and fire it up with wine config for the first time. And that's going to take and make our dot wine directory and copy all the good stuff over. Now, it's going to ask you if you want to install mono. Tell it cancel. Just pretend to be installing .net. Okay. Our wine directory has already been installed, configured, and updated. And we got our wine config here up and running. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to take and install .NET, or at least start the beginning of installations of .NET via wine tricks. So we go wine tricks space .NET 3.5. I spelled dot net. Dot net. There we go. It's going to go through and download a few things automatically for you, and a few things you're going to have to download and install manually. Uh, and I'll try to talk you through the process on that one. Uh, right now, we're downloading dot net FX2. And we're going to be installing that. Mind you, this is a long process. <laughs> and this is installation of .NET 2. Okay, we got .NET 2.0 installed. Now it's going to take and manually ask you to take and download .NET 3. So you want to come down here to download now. And if it doesn't automatically go ahead and try to download, click on the click here. I'm going to click cancel because I've already got it installed and downloaded. And I'll 
online rex directory. And this would be copying out of your downloads directory directly to the window that it just opened. And everything that it's manually having you download will be in the users directory slash dot cache slash wine tricks slash dot net 3.0 or whatever it may be. So now that I've already done that, I'm going to close that window. And restart my script again. Wine tricks dot net 3.5. Now we're installing .NET 3. You might or might not get this little pop-up window down here. It gives you the progress information. You might as well go ahead and tell it to view progress detail. Now pop up your install window here. If it doesn't have it up already for you. Okay, now we got .NET 3 installed. Now it's going to do something a little weird. It's going to go back and install .NET 2.0 service back So now it's downloading .NET 2.0 service back one. Now we're installing .NET 2.0 Service Pack 1. If it asks you to restart now, don't restart now. If you do, it'll screw up the script and you won't be able to install and continue. So you want to tell it to restart later. Tell it to restart now, it's a big no no. <laughs> Had to reinstall wine a few times because of that. at least .NET in the .line directory. And if you get any issues, problems, or what have you trying to install this, just go through in your home directory and delete the .line folder and then fire up line config again. And then start line tricks and then start the process over again. Now it's going to download uh, XP SEP for Windows XP and Server 2003. This is an essential part to get .NET 3.5 running. Uh, the XP SEP library is not installed, so you have to use this installer to install it. And you're wanting to register the XPS document just for shits and giggles, but that's up to you. And click next to that point or click register. I always click register.
Okay, that's done. Now it should be trying to install 3.0 Service Pack 1. I think after this it should be installing 3.5. Okay, 3.0 is done. Oh, sorry, it's not the, the 3.5, it's downloading the XML parser 3.0. Uh, get it from download.com, click on the download now. And then go on ahead and save the file. Since I've already got a copy here, save some time. There. And restart the script again. And that's the MSXML3 that we just downloaded. The XML parser version 2. Now we start the parser. Install. Okay, now it's downloading 3.5. After this, it should be installed 3.5. Okay, that's You know it, yeah. By the way, this is probably the longest point in the install. Download the three point five. Now, if I haven't mentioned it before, I'm going to take a mention again. This is Net Management 17 x86. And this tutorial doesn't only work with Linux Mint, but it may other work with other uh, Debian distros like uh, Ubuntu or Debian in specific. <laughs> Anything that uses Dev Package, package Manager or AppKit. Also, you may notice that I'm running this in a virtual machine. There's quite a bit of tutorials out there that will tell you how to set up and install operating environments, especially Linux, in VirtualBox. So, VirtualBox is awesome. You guys ought to check it out. Save you from burning CDs and 
install Linux on your machine if you're not too sure about how to play with Linux. And the best part of it is it's a virtual machine. It's all software. If you don't like it, you can delete it and reinstall everything again. And you won't mess up your main machine. On internet, go. Yay, finally it got done downloading. Now it should be trying to install it. Come on, 3.5 install. Yay, finally. Yay, 3.5 is installed. Oh, that was a chore. Okay, now. Go to our AFK craft directory, go line. AFK. That EXP and we press enter and ta -da, magic it should work. Yay! Here's a brand new server ready to rock and roll. Uh, this is a uh, Lord in two years. I'm coming at you live and unplugged. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.